In this video, I want to talk about how to calculate the change in entropy of an isochoric process. An isochoric process is a process that has constant volume. Constant volume. On a PV diagram, it looks like this, where we have a, say, volume 1, and we could have a gas that goes from state A, we add some heat, and it goes to state B. And that's it. This would just be an isochoric process. Now, before we can calculate the change in entropy, we have to know the definition of the change in entropy. And that is delta S equals delta Q over T. And this holds true for reversible reactions only, not irreversible reactions. Now, to calculate the change in entropy of an isochoric process, we first off we have to know it's very you know it's very simple. All we have to know is what equals what equals the delta Q. Now with an isochoric process, because none of the energy that we're adding uh, gets turned to work, we know that delta Q equals you know, the delta all energy. And so the energy equals 3 over 2 nRT. And so if you wanted to find the derivative of this, we know that this is constant, so it's a constant times the derivative of this and the derivative of that. So it becomes the derivative of E equals 3 over 2 n r times the derivative of t or delta you know like the infinitesimally small change in t and so from that we know that delta s since delta s is delta q over t and delta e is delta q you know delta q equals delta e then what we can write is delta S equals the delta Q, which was 3 over 2 nR times dt over t. Remember, because we had the, the t here. Now, what we can do is we can integrate this, and we can make it uh, you know, quite simply, we just go the change in entropy is equal to 3 over 2 nR times. And see, for here, all we have to do then is go the natural log of T2 divided by T1. Or we could write that as ln uh, T2 minus the ln of t1. This is the same, it's just a logarithm rules. And basically this is how you calculate the change in entropy of a isochoric process or constant volume process.